I mean, it's not a whole lot I can do or say, to be honest. Um, most of you know, um, at least my day ones, you guys know that I, um, I pretty much do liquid wraps for a living. Um, that is my full-time gig. This, this is how I put food on the table. Um, it's how I pay my bills. Um, I really love what I do, but um, you know some stuff is out of your control, and um, unfortunately, uh, I had a fire in the shop uh, a few days prior to this where what I'm recording now. Um, it's been rough, man. I mean, I, I'll just be up front with you guys. Um, when COVID happened, uh, when when money got tight, the first thing to go was the insurance. And it's stupid on my part because, you know, obviously insurance is one of those things where you don't need it until you need it. And um, that's the major thing. I mean, the stuff that was burned, luckily the building, you know, Structurally, is is fine. Um, I mean, obviously, you can see that's pretty much the bulk of the damage. I mean, the whole shop has like black smoke soot that you know it needs to be professionally cleaned, and it's just going to be a lot. I mean, mentally and financially. Um, I was kind of just starting to, just starting to recover from. COVID and stuff being tight and and then this happens so um yeah man I, I don't <laughs> call me stupid for the insurance part but I just I had to do what I had to do in that moment in that time but um that's kind of making the situation ultra stressful um I lost more of my own stuff than I did, you know, like I said, the actual damage to the building is actually, considering it's not that bad, but, um, just trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to do, man. I'm a hard worker, man, I, and I, I, I bust my ass to, and have busted my ass to get where I'm at. Yeah, I'm not the richest, I'm not the poorest, you know, but, I mean, the thing is, is I, I work really hard to to build my business and get to a point where I could provide for my family, and I'm the type of person that really hates to ask for handouts. Um, it's just not in my, it's not in my blood, honestly, but... I, I kind of had something in the works prior to this, and um, all I can say, man, is you guys, uh, if you can, just just when you pray, man, just throw me a prayer with it. Just keep me in your prayers. Um, hopefully, that I can bounce back and recover from this. Um, my main concern is that I don't lose the business completely. Um, it's going to probably be a while before I can actually... Um, you know, get back to work, but just hope in the meantime I don't lose the business. Um, but the one thing I did have in the works that I, I mean I wasn't ready to reveal it quite yet, but um, I I need all the help I can get right now. Um, you know, emotionally, but also financially. So. Um, I hate to ask you guys, but um, I did have these stickers that I was eventually going to um, make a website for, and, and this was going to be one of the items that I was going to, you know, sell on the website, and it's basically a holographic sticker of uh, of my car. And like I said, I wasn't really ready to reveal it quite yet, but um, I, like I said, I need all the help I can get, so... Um, Keep a lookout uh, for the description. 
or in the description rather I'm gonna have a link to uh, the store where I'm gonna be selling these and I'm gonna set the price it's gonna be higher than what it normally would have been um, but mainly I just want you guys to uh, support me and just um, just help me out in this in this situation um, um, I, I'm not if you can't you financially can't do it yourself don't worry about it but for those of you who can't help I definitely would appreciate it um, I kind of lucked out in, in a few different areas man I mean even though this situation does suck to the max um, this was definitely like best case scenario I mean the way it all happened um, the short version is I have a, one of my fans short circuited some Chinese BS it's unavoidable it could happen to anybody it's out of my control um, but that uh, lit up the booth and I was actually literally uh, auto flexing champagne um, so luckily it wasn't a customer's car involved because that would have been a whole another mess and um, the fire department is right across the street so they got here fast and it happened um, late at night and one of my shop neighbors was in his unit and smelled the smoke and normally he's not here that late so him being here you know, the combination of the way everything just happened it, it just was best case scenario um, but that's pretty much the short version of you know what happened um, I, I've already uh, cleaned up the burnt debris and throughout the old booth and most of the burnt stuff that was on the ground is gone um, I'll show you guys champagne yeah this is champagne um, aside from it being smoky and dirty for the most part that was pretty much the only damage the major damage it got luckily um, of course when the booth fell on it it has a few uh, bruises and scrapes but overall the car is uh, is best case scenario man the car could have went up in flames with the booth and it didn't so I was lucky um, to be honest with you it kind of has like this Mad Max type of vibe and kind of like it and it started right up so got lucky there um, this is the aftermath of a day or two worth of cleanup but the fire started in this corner and then you can see the damage and then the whole shop is like black soot which doesn't seem like a big deal but I mean somebody has to get up there and clean this stuff and get rid of the smell before I can even come back in here and you can imagine how much work that would be um, so yeah that's pretty much the situation but yeah man for those of you who are able to uh, go and buy a sticker and, and help me get back on my feet um, yeah man uh, I appreciate anything you could do that being said just keep me in your prayers and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys